Hey guys, what's going on? Jamie here. Just wanted to do a quick video on Mint Stake Share. Um, as you can see here, the price has uh, kind of leveled off a little bit in a good way. Uh, you can see here that the price is floating around that 57, uh, not 57, imagine that, uh, 5.7 cents uh, mark. Uh, will it hit 6 cents again? I think so. Uh, we'll see here in the near future. But you can see here the price over the last 24 hours up over 8.71 percent so let's give you a quick update guys on how this platform is doing um i think they have a an ama today if i'm not mistaken um i think at uh at 1 p.m eastern today there's an uh an ama inside of their telegram so a um, couple of updates uh, i know there's a big announcement scheduled for tomorrow so, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and dive right into it. Of course, I am not a financial advisor. Never take anything I say as financial advice. If you are going to jump into mint stake share or anything we talk about, please do your own research and due diligence and only put in what you can afford to lose, guys. Risk at capital only. Also, follow me on Telegram. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that little bell icon so you'll get notified straight away whenever I do a brand new video. So, that being said, guys, you can see here the price looking uh, pretty good. Had a little bit of a dip um, over the weekend. Uh, it hit eight and a half cents, I believe, which was the all-time high. And then it dipped down to um, around five cents, uh, 5.6 cents or something like that. And now it's kind of finding a floor and kind of finding its way up a little bit. But look where it was uh, when it, when this project first started, right? When the, when the project first started, you know, the price over here compared to where it is right now, people are still way up, right? People are still way up. So um, if you remember, again, I hate to, to compare this to drip, but pe since people are saying that this may be the next drip, and I hate to really say that because it's, you know, I want to give this, uh, this platform or this project a fair shot. And whenever you reference it or compare it to another platform, then, you know, you really set the bar high, right? Um, be nice if it be if it was the next drip but whenever you call another platform the next drip now you're really setting the bar really high for it and it's not really fair right uh, but if we were to compare it right <laughs> you know drip didn't really take off for a couple of weeks right I, I think it was a couple of months it was like three years ago i don't even remember but it didn't take off right away i mean there was a big dip it was at like seven dollars and fifty cents when it launched or something like that and then it went all the way down to three dollars uh and then uh it kind of stayed there and went up a little bit down a little bit up a little bit down a little bit and it kind of just went sideways for a long time until it really took off and went on that crazy run uh to 190 dollars. now am i saying that that's going to happen here no i'm not saying that i don't know what's going to happen here right but just because there was a price correction over the weekend, you know, that doesn't really scare me off. I mean, that's just, that's how crypto is, right? Crypto is up, it's down, it's up, it's down. You know, the way I've always looked at it is as long as we're getting that 2% or 1%, depending on if you're claiming or compounding and there's liquidity, you know, let the price do what it's going to do because it's going to go up, it's going to go down. There's going to be volatility because that's the way it goes. That's the, that's the way these platforms go. Um, you know, if you want to, if you want a token that has the ability to skyrocket and go crazy and go, you know, and go, you know, take a, take a ride to the moon, then the flip side of that is, you know, there's going to be price corrections, right? And you got to be okay with both and you got to be even keeled and steady and just stay with your strategy um, while it's going to go, while it goes through those ups and downs. Um, again, as long as the dev is, um, you know, as long as he's competent um you know and he's had a track record of putting out projects that don't get exploited right like there's devs out there that everything they do gets exploited <laughs> um you know as long as the dev doesn't have a track record of getting exploited and putting out projects that have back doors and stuff like that you know and they're competent then you know let the let the coin price do what it's going to do right now it's looking really good so Again, there might be another price correction. I, you know, I've, I've said it in my other video. You know, a lot of people in this project they have a strategy where they compound, compound, compound through 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 the week, and then on the weekend is when they claim. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's okay, right? Compound through the week, 
claim on the weekend, right? Some people have a five and two, right? They count, they, uh, they compound five days a week, right? Monday through Friday, and then they claim on the weekend or they, they compound six days a week and then they claim on Sunday, right? Because they want to get the 2% a day, and they, but they also want to claim because they want to lock in profits. And again, it's smart to do that, right? There's nothing wrong with that. So expect, you know, the price to come down a little bit, right, on the weekends. That's that's normal. If you're smart, what you'll do is you'll plan to buy on the weekends when the price is expected to go down, right? <laughs> that's when you make your buys. Um so we'll we'll see. We'll see what happens on the weekend. I'm expecting the price to drop a little bit on the weekend again, because you know, people have that type of strategy. That's when you should buy, is when people sell, right? Um, anyways, liquidity is looking good, market cap is looking good, um, up almost nine percent over the last 24 hours. <clears throat> again, you look at where the where the where the where the uh, coin was when the when the project launched compared to where it is right now still you know a major major jump right so again the price is going to come up it's going to come down it's going to come up it's going to come down we're looking at overall the overall picture right um so let's take a look at some of these stats right here uh let's see yeah look at that even with the price not really moving much from my last update yesterday 1.1 million dollars staked right 19.3 million tokens so uh the um, the the tvl the usd value staked went up a hundred thousand almost oh actually a hundred thousand dollars it went up and the price didn't really move that much Mo moved up a little bit um and the user base is continuing to go up so these are the stats that i look at right user base is going up the um total staked is going up uh liquidity is looking good Right. Again, the price of the token, it's going to go up. It's going to go down. Don't really look at that too much. Right. We just look at opportunities to buy. Um, but as long as the user base is going up, the amount staked is going up, liquidity is looking solid. You know, we just keep it moving. Right. Um, so uh, I was supposed to compound this yesterday. I forgot. Got off the video <clears throat> and was running around a little bit. Let me compound it right now. Yesterday was crazy, crazy hectic. I'm actually flying out tomorrow. Let me compound that. Should have compounded it yesterday, but oh well. But yeah, flying out tomorrow, so I might miss the announcement. I'm going to be on a flight, an 11-hour flight tomorrow. <laughs> so I may miss the announcement. I'll probably catch it, you know, when I get off the flight. But um, yeah, you can see here. Uh, we have uh, almost $29,000 worth of tokens staked. So if I'm getting 2% on that, if I'm compounding, right? Let's do the math real quick. And I'm compounding, right? And uh, 570, almost $578 a day. Um, not, not too bad. Now, again, that's going to fluctuate. If the price goes up, price goes down, that'll fluctuate. If I'm claiming, obviously, that'll go down. If I'm compounding, it'll stay like that. So, again, there's different variables. But so far, you know, that's what I'm going to be making a day if, uh, if if everything stays um, the way it is right now. So, we'll see. We'll keep a loose eye on the, on the price. But, again, I don't really watch the price too much. Matter of fact, there's days that I don't even look at this because I don't want to be one of those people that's like looking at the price. If you're staring at the price all day long, it's going to drive you nuts, right? Just let this do what it's going to do and let the dev do it, what he's going to do. And, you know, hopefully this is a good project that lasts for, for a while. Let the community, uh, you know, let, let the, of course, the, the, you know, some people have asked me, how, do you, how long do you think this is going to last? It's a community-based project. It's going to last however long the community wants it to last based on the behavior of the community. If the community wants it to last long, then they need to behave accordingly. If they don't want it to last long, then they're not going to let it last long, right? It's all based on the community. So again, it's a community-based opportunity or, or a, a protocol. And again, as long as the dev is doing the right things and he's competent, you know, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to do really well. So far it's looking, uh, you know, really bullish to me. Uh, but in any case, if you want to check it out, you do need BNB. <laughs> In your wallet, uh, make sure you have some BNB to cover the gas fees. 
Uh, you come in, you uh, go to, uh, I think the swap it right now is uh, cheaper than the, the than a, uh, yeah, the swap is one, uh, cheaper right now, right? You go to go to the swap, go to pancake swap, get you some tokens, and then uh, head on over, stake your tokens, right? Put your tokens in in here, right? And then uh, stake them, stake them, and start getting your, your assuming your compounding, get your two percent a day, and uh, you're off to the races. You're gonna see your available balance start accruing immediately, as you can see right here. And you just start building that up, and then you come in every day. You can compound. Can uh, collect whatever your strategy may be, and um, you know happy earnings. So mint stake share, guys. Bullish on this project. It looks really good so far. Uh, I'm gonna give it a fair shot. Obviously, we're watching it, and um, you know, hopefully, uh, this is a, a project that can be a big money maker for a lot of people as we move into right. Knock on wood, as we move into the next bull run, whenever that may be. Uh, <laughs> uh, will it be the next drip network? Who knows? Who knows, right? Um, but I'm here for it, right? Drip, I mean, calling it the next drip network is, you know, I want to give this a fair shot. You know, drip network was a phenomenon in the space, lightning in a bottle, as I like to call it. Very hard for anything to compare to that. So really unfair to call this the next drip network or call anything the next drip, or, drip network because that was you know, right time, right place, right people, right marketers were behind it. It was a phenomenon, right? Um, will this be that? I don't know. But even even if it does a fraction of that, you can still do really well with this, right? I'm giving it a fair shot. Check the link below. As always, guys, do your own research. Do your own due diligence. Only put in what you can afford to lose, guys. Follow me on Telegram, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you on the next update video. Peace.